Hi everyone, warmly welcome to our YouTube channel Science Plus Live. Today, I thought of having a different type of video in outside environment. Why is that? You might have bored by staying inside the studio. So I thought of coming out of the studio and having a nice video outside the garden. So this is my first video regarding the live lessons. So let's see my home garden. This is a sweet melon I have planted in my home garden. So you can see that how can we satisfy by observing by watching this kind of uh, fruits by cultivating in our home garden. These are some uh, orange varieties. In Singhala, we call them as Jamanarang. Uh, so I'm proud because I planted this plant before uh, two years ago. Now we can ob obtain uh, fruits. This is a creeper of cucumber. Still, uh, I can observe the uh, small uh, cucumber as well as the flowers here. So I'm very proud of having this kind these are pumpkin creepers so pumpkin can be used as a vegetable and also as a, a green leaf because the uh, sprouts of pumpkin can be used as a uh, as a green leaf cabbage leaves or in similar we call atugoa we use them for our Green leaf. This is called amberella. Uh, we can use this for uh, as a vegetable as well as for a. As is the curry leaves we use for tasting our curries. This is a kind of tomato. In singular we call ratabatu. This is very important for our uh, cooking purposes. This is brinjal. Uh, this is also a common vegetable type that we eat in our country. Watch the chilies that I have planted in my home garden. Normal tomatoes. This is asparagus. In singular, we call this as Hathavaria. These leaves are very important when making conchi. So it is very uh, nutritional, vitamin rich. Uh, plan. Uh, it's very important to cure some of. Uh, I always prefer to have punchy of asparagus in each and every morning. This is my radish plantation. So I'm very happy to see these things. Now there are yams also, so we can eat radish yams as well as the leaves or green leaves. This is called uh, chow chow. In singular, we call uh, chow. It is also very tasty vegetable we can have in our food. This is a cucumber fruit. Now I am in the uh, avocado tree. These are the uh, avocados. Uh, these are avocados. A tasty fruit in single we call alligator pear. Uh, I'm going to pluck some of the avocados here. Though I am a science teacher, I have the talents of climbing up of these trees. Proof of that. I'm very proud of that. Uh, cho cho. I have sent a creeper of cho cho to the uh, avocado flower. Now I can see a uh, tender fruities appear. Orange tree. I have planted this orange plant before one year. So I'm very happy about the growth of this plant. 
to that much of extent within one year of short period of time. This is my uh, guava harvest. You can see that there are a lot of guavas in this tree. I have planted this guava tree before two years ago. These are coriander plants in Singhala we call Pottamalli. This is my tomato cultivation. I have planted these tomatoes before one month ago. Now uh, I can obtain the harvest. Now this is harvest and time. There are some uh, small tomatoes and also the, this plant consists of uh, some uh, larger tomatoes here. Hi, I'm struggling in my manioc garden. Yeah. This is my uh, banana plantation for my home from market because I, I'm not sure about them. So that is why I always uh, take banana from my home garden. There are more than uh, 12 banana bushes in my home garden. There are different varieties of banana. In single we call Ambung, Kolikutu, uh, Alukesel and ash plantains and also we call that uh, Watupalu. There are various categories in my home garden. Uh, I never uh, buy banana from the outside market because uh, some of the people they used uh, artificial chemical uh, substances like uh, carbide to ripen the fruits so they are not uh, ben they are not uh, beneficial for our body yeah there may be health hazards that is why I'm using this uh, banana um, in my home garden this is a uh, young fruit of a kind of lemon variety which is used in tasting our food this is my uh, jackfruit harvest harvest uh, really I'm very happy to see these uh, young jack as well as before uh, two months ago I could be able to eat uh, new uh, jack fruits and also this plant I have planted before eight years ago so nowadays I am capable of having uh, jack fruits uh, young jack and I am uh, distributing I am giving them for my uh, this is my uh, green leaf cultivation. In this, uh, I have planted Mugunuvenna, and here uh, I have planted uh, some goto color, and here uh, this is called as uh, Kura color. This is my uh, carrot cultivation. Still, they are very young plants. This is my passion fruit creeper. Hi, I'm plucking uh, beans here. It is my favorite vegetable, beans. Sometimes there are worms, but I don't use uh, uh, chemical fertilizers or chemical insecticides. Normally, I used uh, kitchen ash to remove some uh, germs like uh, we call uh, in, uh, insects, small insects. This is the uh, beans uh, harvest I obtained today and also the uh, tomato harvest I obtained uh, today morning from my home garden. Now I am going to tell you the secret behind the success of my home cultivation. What is the secret? I am using only the organic fertilizers for my home cultivation. Here I obtain organic fertilizer in two ways. One thing is the compost barrel, compost basket I have made here. Another one is the biogas. I will show you about the structure and the function of the biogas unit later. First of all I would like to explain you my compost basket here. It's very simple. You all can make this kind of compost basket at your homes here. I have used some uh, glycidia sticks here and after that I have uh, used some 
uh, unnecessary plant sticks there and I have uh, dropped all the uh, decaying leaves, decaying vegetables and all the unnecessary parts into this compost basket. So this is the uh, compost fertilizers, compost manure, organic fertilizer I have obtained at the uh, bottom of this compost basket after three months of time period. I'm adding uh, natural fertilizers, organic fertilizers to my protocolar cultivation. And this is my Mugurvenna uh, cultivation. I'm adding this uh, organic fertilizer compost I obtained from my compost basket. Last but not least, I am going to emphasize you the main purpose of having this video. As you know that science is a subject that is interrelated with the natural environment. So I am very happy, I am very proud of my home garden as I could fulfill all the day to day requirements from my home garden. So that I want to encourage you to cultivate small area in your home garden to fulfill your daily requirements as well as the most important thing is the self-satisfaction we can gain by cultivating certain things in our home garden. So I would like to say you most important four secrets behind the success of my home garden. There are four things. The first one is my will because water is essential for treating plants. The second one is the compost basket. Third one is the biogas unit because I am using the fertilizers from the organic fertilizers from the biogas unit. And last one is the science knowledge. Without having science, we can't success any field in our life. A science student may be a real farmer, a science teacher may be a real farmer. Undoubtedly, humbly, I am saying that I am a real farmer. You will be able to watch another amazing video regarding the function and structure of the biogas unit in coming videos. And this is the end of our video, so don't forget to subscribe our channel Science Plus Live and also Last, I am going to say you that please brighten your life with the power of science.